Hello, my name is Elena, and in this video I'll be talking about the symbiosis between corals and microscopic algae. As I said before, a symbiosis is a long-term interaction between two different species, and in this case, the symbiosis is called mutualism, because it helps both species, it helps the algae and the coral. First of all, let's talk about the coral. Corals are what we see in coral reefs, like this one. They look like rocks, but they're actually alive. And because they're alive, they need energy to grow and to live. But where do they get the energy from? Well, they get it from the microscopic algae. Now, I'll be showing you the exact symbiosis process between the algae and the coral. Here you have the algae that, thanks to the sun, photosynthesizes, just like plants do. Then it gets energy, and that energy is used by the coral to grow and to live. In exchange to that, the coral gives shelter to the algae. Here you can see the coral and the algae on top of it. This is actually how corals get their colour, thanks to the algae. If the algae didn't live on the coral, the corals would be white. So, as a little summary, we can say that the coral and algae form a symbiosis because the coral gets energy from the algae and the algae, in exchange, gets a house. So, they're both very happy. What is happening nowadays is that because of climate change, sea temperatures are going up and up and up. And the microscopic algae don't like this, so they're going away. So many corals are left without algae and, as a consequence, without energy. So they die. And this is what is happening in many places. All the corals are white. So, in the future, if we don't do anything um, against climate change, um, coral reefs may disappear. So, as a conclusion of this video, the symbiosis between coral and algae is very important. So, if one dies, the other one will die. Thank you for watching this video.